fucking douchebag! It's a die, Jackie! Give me another peg! Hiya, Ratface. What took you so long? Jenny? Were you expecting some other girlfriend? Come sit with me for a minute. I'd give you a free beer, but you're not even legal until tomorrow. I must be losing my fucking mind. I asked Giancarlo if I could take your birthday off. He tried to give me a hard time, but I gave him the Bambi eyes, and he caved. He says he's even going to bake you a cake. I was thinking maybe you could come over to my new place, and we could watch a movie or something. Hello? Earth to Jackie? Are you okay? Jenny. Is this real? Yeah, you and me, young and in love. Face it, you lucked out.
deceives you. Leave me alone! You are alone, Jackie. Running, Swifty, I got all fucking night. It's too live. Ready from the dark. Just how we like. Oh, let's do some random. What? This don't make sense.
You are my vessel!
Jesus.
Better start talking. I think I think they're like some kind of secret club or something, you know? They gave they gave me an envelope with a whole load of cash in it. Their boss, their, their leader, whatever. I, I I met him in a brothel, the, the Brimstone Club, alright? Look, I'm telling you, th these guys are some kind of Hey! What the fuck are you doing? Jack, you miserable fucking friend! <laughs> what the fuck did you do? I needed him! I needed answers! Nothing. Once the darkness gets a hold of you, you start to lose control. You start to wonder what the fuck you're doing. Time slips away from you. And then, all of a sudden, it's like you're sitting in a theater, watching a movie of your own life. And you're up there on the big screen, big as life. You're a fucking movie star, and you're killing all the bad guys, tearing them limb from limb. And you feel good, you look good. Fuck, you are good. And then you realize something. Everyone else in the theater, they're screaming. Because they're watching a horror movie. And you're not the hero. You're the monster. Eddie and Frank are checking out the Brimstone right now. And the new guys found your buddy, Johnny Powell. Yeah, he didn't take to your invitation so good. We put him in the back room so he could shit his pants for a while. Follow me. Can't wait to see him again. Yeah, it's me. This guy's a couple clowns short of a circus, Jackie. He wasn't living by the Queensboro Bridge. He was living under it, in a cardboard box. All right, come on. He's back here. Hey, Chief, how's the wife and kids? Hmm. He's in a good mood. There you go. Knock yourself out. So let's say you live in a big house and you own some books. I mean, some other fuck nuts might live at the North Pole and they own a lawnmower, but th that don't mean nothing. I can keep a secret. I can keep a secret. Just let me go and I won't breathe a word. Scout's on or... It's cool. It's cool. It's okay. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Don't get stressed out. Don't get stressed out. People always see value in what they don't understand. They always see value. That's why we went to the moon. That stupid stuff getting in your head and it gets all jumbled and weird. People think you're nuts. Johnny Powell, you look like shit. You were supposed to be the expert. I paid you good money to help me figure things out, and you repaid me by skipping out in the middle of the night? For what? Jackie, I did what I could to help you control the darkness. But being around you was becoming a problem for me. The darkness is so fucking seductive. I could hear it whispering to me whenever I was around you. It was starting to change me. Are you gonna kill me? Is that what this is all about? I let it out, Johnny. Now I don't know if I can control it. You let the darkness back out? Jesus Christ, Jackie, that thing is like a slow suicide. Then help me get it back under control. You don't control the darkness, Jackie. You cower in fucking fear of it, and you pray it goes away. The longer the darkness is active, the more it'll try to confuse you. <laughs> it'll try to trap you, make you see stuff that, that, that other people can't see. I need your help, so you're back on the payroll until I say you can go. Bunch of assholes just came after my entire operation, and whoever gave them this envelope is connected to the darkness somehow. I need you to figure out who they are, and what they know about it. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, I, I, I'll do what I can. It's... It'll go a lot faster if you get one of your gorillas to untie me. Please? It lives in Viscera. And you are the focus. It wants chaos! Well, it gives you lemons. Lemonade. Don't make no difference if it's kiwi fruit. It's better than sleeping under a piece of wet cardboard, so don't fuck it up! Gotta get organized. 
Look at all these damn books they got. Don't, 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 don't be an idiot, Johnny, all right? They're, they're giving you an opportunity. All right, don't, 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 don't look, don't look. No one in the eye, and you'll be fine. So what it's made of, I mean, the inside, it's white, but you don't even know if it's white because you can't even see the inside. So, I mean, it, it, the, the color, is, co color is inconsequential. You don't even have to know what the color is. Just know that it, 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 oh, there's air inside. There's air inside, but what else is inside? What does the air touch? Nobody knows what the air touches, but when you hit it, you feel something, and nobody knows what you feel. I know what you feel, but I'm not going to tell you. Every victory turns to defeat. You live long enough, you pretty much figure that shit out. Youth is a series of mistakes. Manhood's a struggle. Old age is a big fucking regret. And no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. You find me one guy with courage. I'll show you a majority. You can untie him now, Chief. But keep an eye on him for me, would you? Hmm. Wow, that guy really let himself go. I used to think he was pretty smart. Now he looks like something the cat threw up. Hey, hey, Frank and Eddie are back from the club. They're waiting for you with Jimmy in your office. All right, thanks, Vin. Don't you listen to that voice in your head, Jackie. You fear the darkness like it was the devil himself. Everything it says is a lie. How you holding up, Jackie? I'm all right, Aunt Sarah. How you doing? I have arthritis and two bum knees. Every day is a gift. How do you think I'm doing? You're something else, you know that? And you look like shit, you know that? I'm gonna make you some of that meatloaf you love so much. I'll have it for you in a couple of hours. Nice home-cooked meal is what you need. You're the best. Bet your ass I am. Jackie, you're gonna want to hear this. That Swifty prick was right. The assholes who hit us are hiding out at the Brimstone. What did you geniuses find out? It was Eddie worded. I was otherwise engaged at the time. He was busy snorting coke off a hooker's ass. Never could multitask. Well, these two chuckleheads are getting their dick spit polished. One of the whores starts running her mouth about the new owners. I had this girl, Camille. She says the place got bought up last month. The new guys took over the top floor. Yeah, but that ain't the best part. Camille says she's seen some weird guy with a limp go in and out of the place. Says he looks like Nosferatu on crack. Who the fuck is Nosferatu? Your grandmother. No idea if this wank job and his crew are still there. Might be worth checking out. All right, enough talking. I'm headed down there. Whatever you say, Jackie. I think Vinny has a friend who works there. Might want to ask him about her. Hey, What's Jackie, going on? You fuck up that pool all good or what? You're a good boy, Jackie. Always did know how to break a few faces here and there. You done good at the pool hall, kid. We still got one. You set on what we gotta do next, Jackie? This fucking town is crazy right now. Worse than ever. Hey, Jack. So, uh, Jimmy told me about the Brimstone Club. Sounds like a real dumpster. You, uh, got a hookup over there? Well, uh, you mean, uh, me? Well, I, I mean, I'd never go to a cesspool like that, but I, I got a friend who goes there sometimes, who, you know, when it's late at night, when other places are closed. I know a girl there named Venus. Sure, she can help you out. She's a real handful. Two of them, actually. The new owners are real pissy about the door. They don't let nobody bring a gun in. That's fine, though, because you probably want to learn as much as you can before you... You know, do your thing and scare the living shit out of him. Damn right. Okay, then. You ready to get some fucking answers? Take me to this shithole, Vinny. I thought you'd never ask. Let's go. Jackie, Jackie, wait! What? What's the matter? Uh, 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 this envelope. Uh, uh, where did you say you got it again? Off some dead guy that was paid to kill me. 
Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Something wrong, Johnny? Uh, nothing. Um, uh, couldn't be them. Because that'd be really bad. Hey, um, I, 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 I gotta do some more research. Uh, good luck in your killing spree. Me and the boys will take him to the zoo while you're gone. Retards like the zoo. Let's go, Vinny. That a boy, Jackie. What do you say we go tweak some nipples and see what happens, huh? <laughs> I remember this one time, when it was summer, hot as balls. Jenny and me were on the stoop, with a couple of cones there, trying to cool off. And here comes this fucking kid. You know the type. Asshole all the way. He shoves me over, and takes a seat between the two of us. Jenny takes one look at him, dumped her cone right in his lap. <laughs> That's when he pushed her. So I did what I had to do. I curbed the little fuck. Figured a few months eating through a straw would teach him how to talk to a lady. Jenny? Didn't talk to me for a week. Jackson 5 doing on a plane with Reagan and Gorbachev. No, man, Tito, the president from Yugoslavia. Are you gonna let me finish this funny or what? Okay. So Gorbachev, Ronnie Reagan, and Tito, okay, they in the airplane. So they fly for a little bit, and then uh, Gorbachev, he stick his hand out the window. He says to the two guys, oh man, now we're flying over, over Russia. And they do, they look at him, and they say, how you know? He goes, because my hands had just feel the top of the Kremlin. They're like, oh man, that's something, that's something. So the fly, they're flying the plane a little bit more, and then Ronnie Reagan, he stick his hand out the window. And then he goes, ah, now we fly above USA, baby. And they, and they say to him, how you know you fly over USA? He goes, because my hand had touched the top of the Empire State Building. They're like, oh, wow, man, wow. So then they fly a little bit more, and Tito, he stick his hand out the window. He goes, ah, now we fly over Yugoslavia. And they're looking at him. They say, how you know you fly over Yugoslavia? He goes, they took my watch. <laughs> well, I only got one question for you. Why the fuck would they go to Yugoslavia? Ah, forget about it. You don't know what's funny. Hey, don't I know you? I don't think so, Chief. I'm sure you'd remember. I gotta frisk you, tough guy. Yes, that's good. Arms to your sides. This is a friendly joint. No trouble. You packing tonight, hot shot? Who, me? And spoil the party? Yes, he's clean. Add inside. Have a nice evening. Right through this door, pal. I can make all your dreams come true. Come on, Joey! I need a hit! What you need is to work a shift you don't sleep to for once. Most customers don't like a sleeping hole. My hit will keep... Why? You didn't mean... You look plenty awake now, don't you? Get back to work. <laughs> well, hello, handsome. Tired. Are you done yet? Turn around. The action's that way. Hi. Hi there, baby. You looking for a good time? You must be Venus. I'm Jackie, Vinny's friend. Well... Any friend of Vinny's is a friend of mine. Why don't you come up to my room? 
I think I could arrange something special just for you. Follow me, handsome. There's no cameras in these elevators, but we ain't got much time. They stash Vinny's gun in my room. If these new guys find it, they'll kill me. They don't play games, Jackie. These are some messed up fucking people. They all tweaked out and shit. Just promise if anything goes wrong, you won't rat me out. So you gotta get up to the third floor quickly. Are you listening to me? Uh, yeah, yeah. I got it. Come on, it's this way. is we go to management and air our concerns. Have you seen this new guy? The hunchback guy? You're gonna ask that fucking abomination for a raise? I figured you could go ask him. You're better at that shit than I am. For you. They closed off the top two floors. We figured they was just shooting pornos up there. But then, Chantel went to go see that hunchback guy on the third floor. Now we ain't seen her in a month. Here, this is from Vinny. Nice. Now you go find these assholes and make sure you give them one for me. Shoot Quasimodo upside the head and put us all out of his fucking misery. I said no makeup, you stupid I should have been a You look like a fucking clown on crap. Now I gotta go wash lipstick off my dick. I can't do this, no more! Thanks. Nice. 
to that vent. It's the cry of the beast. Right here. 